the pairing of the type one with a type one. This is a common pairing or it's a pairing that works a lot because the one is so such a strong personality that a lot of the time it would need its own match for the relationship to work out. Ones are, I would call it tier two of the frequency in the population. So you've got the sixes, nines, and threes. They're everywhere. And then less common are the sevens, ones, and twos. Not necessarily in that order, but they're pretty similar. That's besides the point. Ones with ones, according to the Enneagram Institute, their relationship dynamics. As with all double type relationships, two Enneagram ones bring the same general qualities to each other. Therein lies both a main source of the attraction as well as one of the main pitfalls of this pair. Two ones, I'm not going to say that again, ones will be concerned with fairness, truthfulness, keeping agreements, schedules, consistency, and treating the other with respect and dignity. Work and taking care of responsibilities will tend to come first with play and pleasure taking a backseat for this couple. Yeah. Vacations and leisure, partying and recreation will be fitted in after the more important things are accomplished. How am I even dating this type? <laughs> wow. Okay. Each will feel like and take care of the role of the adult in most situations, making for a highly incompetent a highly competent, rational approach to life and problem solving. It is their dealings with each other, as well as family and friends, ones will want to be objective and reasonable, fair and truthful above all else. That's reassuring. I'm not being manipulated by my ESFJ1, in theory. And will seek these qualities in others. They create an atmosphere of clarity and precision in which their own interactions with each other and with friends and family feel clean. That's an interesting adjective. They feel clean, not sticky or sentimental or loaded with unspoken ulterior motives. That's good. We need more of that in the world. A double one, there we go. That's the better language for it. A double one pairing often is created and sustained by shared ideals as well as the desire to put those ideals into practice. Both ones are typically people who have solid convictions, which they enjoy talking about, often with noteworthy articulateness and passion. My, my one doesn't open up to me. It's, it's sad. I can only handle so much venting about things. They also typically have a certain strength of character and a degree of wisdom, which both admire in each other. They could not bear being in a relationship with someone they did not respect and whose character was not sterling. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. It's funny, just reading this, I know he doesn't respect my views and therefore I do not feel respected and also just my dissatisfaction with the relationship has led me to do things that are just like not sterling in character. He knows this. Ones bring their hard earned wisdom to others above all by fighting for tolerance, dignity and rights of everyone. Yeah, that's something we, we share deep down. Potential trouble spots or issues between the double one. Ones are governed by a strong sense of right and wrong, as well as a sense of responsibility, giving them a feeling of self-restraint and a tendency to feel responsible both for themselves and for everything else in their lives, including the quality of the relationship itself. There can be a noticeable tone of formality in this combination, with the reluctance to say or do anything that would be undignified or out of keeping with their sense of propriety and appropriateness, you guys are in a relationship, like an intimate relationship, and you're still so formal. That's hilarious. That's, that's weird. They will have little tolerance for sloppiness, error, or whatever they define as childish behavior in anyone. 
This is so weird how ones and sevens are supposedly compliments. You'd think that the one doesn't respect the seven and they couldn't have a relationship, but supposedly that's not the case from Enneagram Institute. Irritation and condescending sarcasm, yes, are how they express anger with each other, occasionally exploding into a litany of long-standing grievances, yes, that they have been loaded in their mental account books, yes. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm reading this. Easily frustrated by mistakes or lapses in themselves, they are equally aware of shortcomings in each other. Average ones can begin to make the other into a perpetual, unfinished improvement project. Although ones may find it too uncomfortable to treat each other this way. They may strike an unspoken deal with each other in which their main criticisms are directed toward others or toward social problems instead. They may bond with each other by becoming indignant about issues and the errors and foolishness of others. <laughs> they may thus climb atop Olympus together and look down on the world from their privileged, condescending vantage point. Depending on their level of health, double and couples tend to find few people who measure up to their high standards, with the result that there are fewer social interactions and increasing self-imposed isolation. I mean, he's a wing too, like I said, but to spend time with him, more time, it's just, you're just not gonna measure up. Some eccentricity and strange habits, both personally and as a couple can result as they withdraw more completely from most human connections. This sounds very five. Ones can begin to feel that they are all the world they need, but it can begin to be a cold, unforgiving world as they also begin to barely tolerate each other. What? That is so controlling. You guys are so rigid in your ideals and then they can't even tolerate each other. That is sad. It's like no one's good enough, not even your twin. Wow, I'm glad I read this. Oh, I'm, I'm scared to read about the double sevens or the double fours, the double threes, these types that I resonate with. Huh, I got a lot from this though. The fact that they cannot be with someone they don't respect. And yet the sevens get along with the ones. I don't know why. So for all the ones out there, this is, this is what it is. It's like being with your clone. You can get a lot done because that's what ones do.